but now I'm getting really angry, you iggly squiggly diddly little tag nut. No, I'm just kidding. This is actually Simon Dude the Fourth, and this is Let's Play some Super Paper Mario and Wake Up. Last time, we managed to go ahead and find out that we can't breathe in outer space, but we can breathe using a fishbowl. Yeah. Mm hmm. A fishbowl. Anyway, um, so, now we're gonna go ahead and go into World 4, to where we can actually, first we need to put on our fishbowl. Actually, I have to go to important items for that one. Yes, a helmet is an important item. Oh, well, you can't wear it. I guess you automatically put it on when you go into the world. So, into the world we go, again, to explore the final frontier. To go. To boldly go. Where no man has gone before. Do 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 do. And that was fair. Want to use a helmet? No, I want to use it. Yes, I'm going to use a helmet. Well, what do you think? Can you breathe now? Uh, it doesn't make sense how you can breathe. And why is there a little thing with jigger on top of your head? Very well. Let's go then. If your heart's somewhere in the sea of stars. All right. So, controls are kind of weird. It, it works like swimming, sort of, except you use the D-pad and move up and down. You can't jump. Oh, yeah, and don't use Dudley here, otherwise, well... Oh, we have to follow the SOS. Hey, there's something here. Let's go ahead and use Tippy to explore that, shall we? If I can find my sensor bar, there we go. There's something here. Hmm, this is a spaceship. Looks rather like it. Squeak! Squirrel, squirrel, squirks. Morning, squirp. Oh dear, who are you? An alien, perhaps? You're on the ones looking for a pure heart, Squirple. Hmm, cuter than I thought. Uh, creepy. How do you know about the pure heart and about us? Are you allied with Count Black? I demand answers. Oh, no scary faces. You can call me Squirps. I'm your captain, Squark. And if you want the pure heart, we need to work together, Squirp. Whatever do you mean? Please explain yourself. Squirps can't tell much now, but you must trust Squirps. Now follow me, Squeaks! We won't be doing that, we just met you in- Squack! You hit the captain! You are a space grunt now, and that's the only rule. You only response to me, yes sir, and gotcha. Understand, Squirkle? Gotcha. Squish, 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 look at you, understand your place. Squirp! Are you okay with this? Eh, why not? If you say so. Great, let's get- er, Wait, let's get ready then! Squirp formation, Squirkle! Well, squirp directly to the pure heart. It's like warping, except squirps invented it. In order to squirp, we need a lot of energy. Squirk! You're all brimming your power-up power, right? You should give it to squirps. Press A to give squirps your power-up power. Press and hold A until you think you've built up enough power-up power, then release. Hold down A. And then let go. Success! And here we go! Squawp! That guy's voice is gonna get annoying. I really don't know if I want to keep that voice for squiggles or not. Squiggly diggly. Squarp. Squiggle. 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 Squirter. Lurp. I'm gonna use that voice. I don't know. Not sure yet. Squawp. Squawp. We are not even close to our destination, Squarps. Nah, I think I like this person better. It's all out of power, of power you have, Squarp! Good for nothing, Space Grunt Squarps, what an idiot for thinking you had more. Well, good for nothings have their own good for nothing way as a moving Squark. There's ways to go before you reach your pure hearts. You must Space Whip. Use two to shoot enemies with my Squip Squirt Beam. Squirt Fire Space Squirt. Charge! Kinda sound like Don Knotts has a dry. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna use... Um... Boomer here? Yeah, we use two to fire. Yeah, so you can go ahead and keep firing shots off. You can flip here, too. 
it actually looks pretty cool when you flip. It's like real dimension. Except you can't go up and down whenever you're uh, flipped. You can only go left to right. So yeah, uh, no comboing. I don't, I don't believe you can combo anyway. So yeah, huge fan of this chapter. Because if you're a fan of um, if you're a fan of um, what do I want to get rid of? Ah, uh, yeah, I'll get rid of it. Because if you're a fan of space games and shmups, and yes, I actually know what a shmup is and know to call it a shmup, then you'll like this stage. Because it's actually kind of fun. You get to keep shooting with... just keep mashing the A button to shoot. As long as you're facing forward, you're good. There's another bolt room there. So let's go ahead and save. Yep, we want to save. So yeah, as I said, as I said last episode, I almost forgot about my sound. And it's New Year's Day still. It's still the same recording session as I recorded episode 15 on. So this will probably be uploaded on the fourth or the fifth. Yeah, let's fire! Fire our thingamajigger. That that doesn't sound. Let me rephrase that. Fire our cannon! Fire the beam! Shoot the core! Yeah. Yeah, you got multiple areas where you can enter right now. So it's kind of like a maze area. Let's go down here. Knowing me, though, I'll get lost. Yeah, not even five hours into the new year and I'll already have a brain fart. That kind of sucks. Anyway. Well, here we go. We have that entrance. Actually, that's the only entrance we got, so let's go ahead and take it. So, yeah. Uh, it's kind of a boring chapter. Uh, it's kind of an interesting chapter, but... Uh, you'll get... more stuff as we go. Whoa. Aliens! 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 Wait, Klingons? Ewoks? I don't know what you are. Doesn't seem to be anything here, so it appears we reached a dead end. So we gotta go ahead and backtrack. Unless if we can go backwards from here. Which it appears we can. So it may not be a dead end. Die! Die, aliens, die! I played Space Invaders when I was a kid. So don't even try it, game. Don't even try it. This looks promising. Maybe I did go the right way. If so, that'd save a lot of time. Fire upon the aliens! Die, aliens! Come die! Die, you nasty Kardashians! Die! And Klingons! And Romulans! And hey, there's a pipe up there! Oh, yeah. Well, that was smart of me. Oh, we have to find a pipe, I believe. Where are we gonna find one of those? It's outer space. Do pipes even work in outer space like they're supposed to? Actually, I think they would because of gravity. And there's a lot of things that'll be screwing up with us right now because of the lack of gravity. Like digestion. Shouldn't even be able to breathe because of the fish helmets. Oh. Well, we beat the level. We're not even ten minutes into the video and I've already beaten the level. Uh, well, I, 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 I guess that's it. Uh, sorry guys, it was a short episode, but, you know, we're not even ten minutes into the vi- not even ten minutes into the recording. You guys probably got like an eight minute episode, so. Uh, it's a short one for you, but, eh, sometimes I like that. But next time, the, it'll probably be longer than normal, so that'll probably make up for it. So anyway, uh... Go ahead and see you guys next time. This is how we're going to do the fourth, and this is Let's Play Super Paper Mario. And this is me saying see you later, and God bless you all. So long, everybody.